Hey everybody, welcome back to another Slime Fun filled episode with your host Boomer. But today, instead of that, we're kicking off something new here on the channel. We're going to be doing Slime Fun tips and tricks. These are going to be not the 15 to 25 minute episodes. These are going to be much shorter, much more technically focused to give you solutions to problems you might be facing in the game or ideas that maybe you never thought of before. And so if there's something that you'd like me to try to tackle, a challenge that you're facing in the game, put it in the comments. Or join my Discord servers, links in the description and on the channel page itself, and post it there. Or if you've got an idea or suggestion that you think other people could benefit from, include all the details. The more screenshots and, and details you can give me, the better, and I'll be happy to post it for other people to see as well. In our first one today, we're going to talk about moving cargo from one network to another. As you can see, we have a cargo manager there and we have a cargo manager here. Our goal is to get cobblestone from the cobblestone generator from that network into the dust extractors on this network. And you do that through what I call the use of a bridge. In this case, the bridge happens to be a double chest. It could very easily be a single chest, a barrel, a storage unit, anything that can hold items. It could be a hopper. Anything that can hold items can be used as a bridge. Now let's turn on what this network can reach. You can see it can connect to all those nodes and this one, but the power stops here. The data manager cannot pass data past this block. It won't reach this node. Now, someone's about to say in a second here, when I turn this other one on, Boomer, you've got a problem. Because that cargo network, whoops, I hit it three times apparently. That cargo network also touches this node. Absolutely. And you know what? It doesn't affect anything because this is an output node. We're not pulling from here to go into here. We're pulling from there to go here. And then here's the input node that's going to take us and bring our items. Whoa, what's going on? over to this node. Why am I moving rapidly? There we go. Apparently I have my own technical challenge to my keyboard. So let's get set up here. First thing we're going to do is set up our nodes. We're going to have cobblestone round robin into that chest and we're going to have it come out on channel one. I don't know why I'm using round robin. It's only going into one chest, but what the heck. We'll turn it on just to play it safe. So as you can see, we have cobblestone coming in here and quite rapidly. Now, to prove that it's not just going from here to here and here on the same channel, we're going to set this apart. We're going to say we're going to pull out the cobble on channel 4. And this does need to be Ron Robin. So to prove it's not going in, even if I put this on channel 1, all right, cobble's not coming in. But if I turn it to channel 4, cobble's coming in. So that proves that it's not going from one network to the other side simply on the same channel. Again, if I were to put it on channel one here, nothing's going to come in until I tune it onto channel four. Same thing here. All right. Now we've got cobble in and it's making dust. So now let's keep this going. Let's prove that it's not on the other network. Let's do channel three. We're going to blacklist everything coming out. Whoops, I think I missed one. There we go. Channel three, we're going to blacklist it all coming out. And it's all going to go right into our trash can. And we'll assume, pretend that trash can is a different storage facility of some type or your dust sorting or your ingot factories, whatever works for you. But now we've successfully brought cobble from our generator into the bridge into the dust extractors and now that goes on an entirely different network. Pretty simple, pretty clean. Could this be laid out differently? Absolutely, it does not need to go this direction. You can have one coming in here and all of this, whoops, could actually go in line this way. It's where you have it at a 90 degree angle to the other network. And that way, when this network extends out, that node doesn't even come into play. You won't be on the same network. But again, I've laid it out in such a way that this doesn't matter because we've set it up to only receive cobble from that network. So guys, I hope that helped you. I hope you enjoyed that little tip and trick. And again, if you've got ideas, suggestions, comments, things you want to see, let me know. We'll see you later.